Hey everybody, uh, Country Coach Guy here. I wanted to give you updates uh, on our battery install. Uh, we have brought the batteries in back uh, back home and uh, being cold outside in North Carolina the last few weeks, uh, there was no reason just to leave them sitting in the, in the RV in storage. So um, what I've learned so far, I think I was a little bit too obsessed with uh, voltage as my measurement of how good the state of batteries were because when I would charge them at home, that would be up to 13, 9, 14 volts or even better. So they kind of created a misconception that that's what the battery should be. Uh, as soon as I hooked them up in the RV and, and turned the inverter on, they would quickly drop to 13, 3 at, at best and then uh, very quickly down to 13, 1 or, or, or less. So I was, I was thinking there was something majorly wrong with it. So um, that's why I did some decided to do some testing and I recommend that this is actually what you should do. If you buy your batteries online, which you probably will, uh, they're going to be Chinese made and whatnot, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all okay with that. Uh, there's a couple of things that I've learned about Chinese. Uh, their products are better than their instruction manuals. So you kind of have to figure things on, our, on your own. So <clears throat> never mind a high voltage, that's not the best way to judge the status of your battery. You need to do, when you buy your batteries, when you order your batteries, you need to order two more things. You want to have a good lithium battery charger. And I'm using a uh, Vitron 30 amp, uh, very happy with it so far. I'll include the link below just, just for your information or to check it out. But also, you want to check the capacity of the battery. Yeah, if it says 200 amps, 300 amps, whatever, you want to test is that really 300 amps and besides there's another benefit of it too as you are plug your battery in, in to test the load you're learning what the voltage does at the certain amperage so for example in my particular situation i have a 300 amp amp per hour batteries and they are this is my battery number two. I'm just about finishing draining. I'm up to 267 amps. So meaning at 270, that is 90% of the capacity that I've used. My current voltage is about 12.54, which means there's really no reason to go be below 12 and a half volt. And your, your inverter will be happy and your backup generator will be happy as well. But I would not know this unless I was actually doing the testing. So, so right now this has another uh, probably three hours. I'm, I'm only doing 12 amp um, a draw. So probably another two and a half hours or so till this hits close to 300 amps. So, so don't be obsessed uh, with, with the voltage. One thing I've learned that um, as soon as I plug, plugged in this um, the meter, uh, the voltage quickly dropped to like 12, uh, it was a 13 one or so but the main draw the main usage is between 13 one and 12 five so after 12 five when you are 270 amps meaning you are down to last 10 percent voltage start dropping pretty quickly meaning there's no benefit of really going past 90 percent capacity i mean theoretically you can i have it set up at 11 volt to, to cut off to to stop so that's why when I was charging my batteries, um, I only was able to, or in this case, when I was testing for load, I got to 295. So I was theoretically five amp per hour short, but I only have it set at 11. I didn't want a um, BMS to kick in. So I think the BMS kicks in at either 10.6 or 10.8, but I wanted, to, uh, I wanted this meter to stop actually before that so I could have squeezed probably a few more amps to three or five but I decided I didn't know that did not need that um, 295 is is plenty enough so I want to mention something about these testers the testing the load which is which is very important just to see what your capacity is but as well what your voltage does as it reaches 50 percent 70 80 90 percent of useful uh, of usefulness so my first battery took about 24 hours to deplete discharge and I discharged 295 hours amps sorry 
by using the Vitron battery charger, I was able to fully charge back up and it took 295 amps. So that gives me some confidence that that's actually that's pretty close. I mean, 1% here and there, that's, that's fine. But I think there are. Uh, everything else so far looks like they are 300 amps each. Something about these dischargers, the load testers, there are things to keep in mind. They are rated at 20 amps. 20 amp only works if your batteries are 9 volts or less because the maximum wattage that this is set up on is a 185. So if you have 13 plus volt battery, you divide 185 by 13, you're going to get about 13 or so. You don't want to get, you're not going to get more than 13 amps. If you have a 6 volt battery or up to 9, yes, you can discharge these at 20 amp rate. But if you have a 12 or higher, 12 and a half, 13, like a lithium batteries, the best you're going to get is about 12 to 12 and a half amp draw, which is okay because a slower discharge is better. You're going to get a more more accurate result. And keep in mind that this is plugged in your regular household outlet and your outlets are basically 15 amps. So to keep it on the safe side, you don't want to go more than 15 amps anyway. But just, just so you, you realize that don't do the math using 20 amp because you're going to say, okay, so 300 amps divided by 20, that's a 15 hours. No, you can't because you're not going to be able to. I'm using only 12. I have it set up at 12, uh, 12 amps right now, and that is drawing about 150 watts. So I want to be, I want to be safe because this has been on for 20, about 22 hours right now. So uh, no reason to, to stress the system. So the good news, battery number one was discharged 295 amps. And then I have turned my, my Vitron charger and I was able to put in now it's in the storage, it took about 11-12 hours, and it basically took 295 amps. So, two different instruments telling me that that first battery had 295 amp per hours, and that is discharged down to 11 volts. I could have gone 10, two tenths uh, lower perhaps and get a couple of more amps out of it, but there's no, there's no point in it. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. So looking at the second battery behavior, it's kind of looking pretty similar. I'm at 268 amper hours so far, which is 90% basically of the battery. And the voltage right now remaining is 12.54. So, so that's pretty much behaving in a similar fashion as, um, as my battery number one. So uh, kind of feeling good about that right now. So I'm definitely recommending when you buy your batteries, get a two good lithium chargers. I said I have a Vitron 90, 90 um, 30 amp each, so that means about 10, 10, 11, 12 hours to fully charge each, so I buy two because I have a four, four batteries to deal with, so I'm charging in sets of two. And equally important, get the load tester, something that you can determine are your batteries really the amperage that you bought them, and it's kind of interesting watching the graph or watching the numbers to see at what voltage, what voltage represents your 50% of usage or 80 or 90% of depending how long, how low you want to go. But I'm thinking 90% is pretty good usage considering my old AGMs, the best I could do, no one, you know, they, they recommend that you stay at 50%. So there's a big difference between the 50 and 90% usage. So, so I'm happy with it so far. I'm babying the batteries inside the house. It's just too darn cold outside to do anything else with it. But uh, doing some testing and whatnot. So, so far, so good. Thanks for watching. I wanted to make a comment about these test loaders. They are available online. They are on Amazon. I buy usually most of my stuff on Amazon. And they seem to be made by the same company with a few, few variations. So, in this particular case, this model... I don't necessarily recommend or I mean I got it working finally but it took me it took me forever to do that um, it has a one button control so by pushing the one button it leads you to the menu but if you want to change either setting so this is the battery high this is low at 11 uh, amperage maximum I use 12 6 178 watts 
uh, I finally figured out two quick in certain screen two presses indicates going up and three presses going down and you kind of fine-tune it with that but there is no indication any place the instruction manual sucks so just something if you should end up buying one of these and these are cheaper these are about fifty dollars the other model that I'm using that has a four uh, buttons to to adjust it's a hundred dollars so I'll, I'll post below what these are what not but I got it finally figured out too this model is a friendlier one I'm using this one this is about a hundred dollars I'll post it uh, what model it is what not it's a little bit easier to program and I think it's a little bit more accurate so that's the one I would like to go with except I ordered two and I recommend you should buy them in sets of two but the second one I could not uh, the voltage was stuck at 30 and I couldn't change it. It was doubling the voltage, so it wasn't accurate. So uh, that's just a comment on on these uh, power loaders.